Hey guys, welcome to Better Life Reviews. So Soundcore sent me this box in the mail and I really didn't know what to expect. It's kind of cool. It says open to discover space. Now, what do they mean by space? Let's check it out. So it looks like we're gonna pull here. Every journey sounds good. All right. So you can see a thing there is about being distracted by noise. I know it's supposed to be pretty elegant. All right, so on the inside it says, introducing space series. In a world surrounded by noise, personal space and moments of peace and quiet have become a luxury. Space brings you the ultimate noise canceling experience paired with ultra long battery life so you can enjoy some extra personal space wherever you go. So if you guys don't know, Soundcore is a spinoff of Anchor, kind of like Beats is the Sound Division, uh, which is now owned by Apple, I believe. And uh, as you can see here, I have a lot of Soundcore headphones that they sent me here. And my favorites are the Liberty Air 2 Pro, which I use for like general use. These are kind of, they sit in your ear and hang down like that, like a traditional AirPod style. And then there is the Liberty 3 Pro, which are their kind of their more most advanced active noise cancellation headphones. These are great for listening to movies to get really good like 3D sound, depth of sound and bass. What they're claiming here mostly, reading from the materials, is that these have even more advanced active noise cancellation than prior headphones and that they have battery life of up to 50 hours. So pretty awesome. So you can see here we have the Space Q45. These are an over the ear headphone. And we have the Space A40. These are an in the ear, like earbud style headphone. And then here's also some kind of a case. I don't know what this is. Maybe instructions. Okay, yeah. <laughs> kind of like a notebook style thing here. What do we got? All right, it's kind of cool, I guess. Now, if you get these, these um, I don't think they're gonna be packaged like this when you get them. This is just like a promotional package. Oh, here's like a little notebook thing they send you in there, so. Interesting idea. Let's go ahead and check these headphones out. So, like I said here, these are gonna be some over-the-air type headphones, possibly on the air. Um, now, I actually don't own any headphones of this type by Soundcore, but um, I'm excited to check them out. And then here we have these ones, the Space A40, which are your more uh, earbud style headphones as well. Now these come out since the other ones, so these are supposed to have, like I said, even more advanced adaptive uh, active noise cancellation and up to 50 hours of playtime. It does include the case, uh, but more uh, advanced playtime than really most other earbuds. All right, so I'm gonna be glancing here at my iPad a little bit just to kind of save time, um, but give you guys some specs about these things. These are the Space Q45. These are like an over-the-ear type headphone, and these have high-res audio, uh, that is wireless as well as adaptive active noise cancellation up to 98 percent noise reduction through that active noise cancellation which is kind of what they're making a big deal about and also the 50 hour play time so being that these previous ones the liberty uh, 3 pro and liberty air 2 pro had really good noise cancellation especially the liberty 3 here i'm expecting really great noise cancellation these were pretty on par with airpods in my opinion um, so this should be even more advanced let's go and check these out uh, so we can see here but they're saying that they were performance tested by, I actually look this up as this is SGS, is like an audio, um, like a third party auditing type firm or like sound lab that's going to actually test. And according to them, I guess, uh, they're saying that it reduces noises by up to 98%. Now that being like outside noises, things you don't want to hear. Uh, it says strong targeted noise cancellation via three stage noise canceling system that targets and blocks out noise from low, mid and high frequencies. So it's listening to all these different things and blocking out the frequencies. So it should be, according to them, up to 98% of the stuff you don't want should stay out, creating your space. Back here we see again, the adaptive noise cancellation up to that 50 hours of playtime, which is awesome. Get high res sound via double layer diaphragm drivers. So in previous ones, uh, they had this a single layer of um, the diaphragm, which is what moves kind of the producer sound. Here they have a more advanced diaphragm and it's dual layer and they have uh, AI enhanced calls via two mics, so better sound quality as well during calls. And then of course we have this noise reduction of 98% claimed, as well as a customizable transparency mode. So that's where you're able to hear things from outside. If you want to, you don't wanna be necessarily blocked out from everything. You wanna hear the outside noise, it'll go ahead and um, filter that through to you so you can be more aware of your surroundings, talk to people, not get into accidents and that kind of stuff if you're in an environment like that. As you can see, they do have a Soundcore app which comes both on Google Play and the App Store, so whatever phone you might have. I um, use the Soundcore app quite a bit and it's really good. I also have these Soundcore um, frames, they're called. They're like sunglasses that play audio. They're really cool, so I'm checking this out. I actually took them on a trip to Europe recently um, and I really liked them a lot, so. Uh, they've been out for a little while, but um, something you guys might want to check out. And if you have any questions, let me know. 
But here we go with these ones. Let's open this part up. Ooh, we're trying to get an apple type, you know, that get that seal that you crack open there. <laughs> Maybe not quite as smooth, but I like it. I like it. All right, there we go. Oh, nice. Okay. I actually didn't expect this nice case inside. I guess it makes sense uh, considering that you need to protect these. Uh, but inside you also get a nice case. Now, one really important thing I want to mention is that looking through the promotional materials, they're claiming a price of $149 for the Space Q45, these like over the ear ones, and a price of $99 for the A40s. So these are like not your high priced Apple, you know, $500 uh, Air, Air Prides Max, whatever they are, you know what I mean? This is like a much more affordable version that should offer similar technology. So if you're not someone who has a ton of money to spend, but you want good quality products, Soundcore, great. Um, I said they're coming more and more established. They're kind of like becoming um, a household name, you might say, kind of trying to get into the level like with Sony and Samsung and that kind of stuff. Um, and they're available on Amazon and um, things like that. So they're very convenient to get great prices from. They also have sales as well, so. Check out the links below if you guys want to check out the uh, current prices in this. They're pretty new at the time, but there could be some sales coming up. All right, so let's go ahead and pop this open here. There's a little carry strap right there you get, which is nice. All right, so here we have inside. It says Space Series. Okay, interesting. This is kind of like currently in this plastic sort of tray liner. I'm guessing that's just to like really securely hold them in there. Um, I don't think you'd want to keep it that way normally. So let's go ahead and take that out. So if it's just in here sitting like this, then you can see you don't have a tray liner anymore, but you still have uh, a secure case there. So let's try that out. Obviously it fits in every four with the liner thing. It should fit in there now. So uh, as you can see, it fits there well. It has a nice zipper. And uh, these look really good in my opinion. These look very professional. This part might be plastic here, but it's saying that it has aluminum sliders. You can see there's actually like a band here. That's pretty cool. So it actually, the band, uh, instead of being from the exterior, it actually slides kind of into itself, which is pretty cool. Very smooth action there. And then these should just pivot out to your ears. Good. So left and right. And they're already trying to tell me something, which probably means connect to Bluetooth. Um, let's put and pop these on quick. You can see back here is a power button. You have charging via USB-C. You can see you have here some microphones to pick up the sound. One, two, three of these microphones. Um, here you actually do have a 3.5, it looks like, I think it's, yeah, 3.5 or possibly 2.5. They supply a cable here um, that will allow you to hook this up to a dedicated device. Like if you're still using the 3.5 plug, like if you'd want to use these for editing or something a little bit more serious um, sound production work, then you could do that. Here we have plus and minus volume. These are all just, you know, your digital, I guess you'd say, uh, buttons. So none of that kind of touch capacitive stuff, which is kind of nice sometimes, but it's also nice to have this. That way you know it's definitely, um, it's clicky and you can tell that it's really working as you do it. So pretty nice. Pop these on. Okay. So I can already hear that there's a ton of sound uh, just from that passive kind of being over my ears uh, that it's blocking out and they feel really comfortable on the inside. Uh, they feel really nice. I have to wear these for a while to check it out. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna actually get these headphones, charge them up, connect them. Um, and then I'll take a few days to test them out, which will be a few minutes for you guys. And I'll come back and let you know how they sound in my experience. All right, so really great looking pair of headphones. Feels super solid. Um, I get the impression these will last for a long time. So, um, like I said, these are on you know a similar kind of playing field. I guess trying to compete with like an AirPods Max, so it's called. Um, so they are super expensive. I never had a pair of those because I don't have that kind of cash. You may not either. Let's take a look here at some of the other features of the Space Q45. Like I said, they have that smarter and stronger noise cancellation, up to 98% um, blocking of noise via like smart microphone, um, adaptive noise cancellation, and as well as some passive cancellation as well by having kind of that uh, you know, over your ear feel there. Uh, we do have a 40 millimeter driver. So that's a pretty large driver on the inside of these things, pumping out some sounds. They should sound pretty good. Um, Since so combining silk diaphragm with metal ceramic to produce pumping bass, rich mids, and crisp, crisp trebles. So. Definitely want to check that out. Uh, industry leading playtime. So we have 50 hours with ANC on, the active noise cancellation on, up to 65 hours while they're off. And it charges up in five minutes to get four hours of playtime. Now these ones here, the A40s have a case. So I think it's, we'll go through that later. I think it's gonna say 10 minutes for a, or 10 hours rather, for a single charge on the Space A40s. Uh, but being that these ones don't recharge in a case, 
Um, these should have a 50 hours playtime just in and of themselves. So that's why I guess you had in a lot of extra battery and stuff in there. Um, so that's really good playtime. And again, 65 hours up to with the A and C off. And you can get um, four hours of playtime with just five minute charge. So if they're in your car, you forget to charge them up or you have them there at your house, or whatever, you're heading to the gym. If you want to wear these, if you're just kind of like working out or whatever you might be doing, studying, um, pop them in for five minutes and you'll have four hours. So that's pretty awesome. Nice and quick. A lot of headphones offer that, but um, that is really good. So they have the 40 millimeter driver um, compared to some of their previous stuff. We have adaptive noise cancellation. We have the LDAC. LDAC works only, as my understanding, with Android, so not with um, Apple products, just a higher res kind of audio. So, But they're still going to sound great. Um, and then you have mics for calls. You have two AI mics. They have transparency. According to this, you have a talk mode and five level ambient mode. So there should be a bunch of settings in there uh, to adapt that to whatever you want. And we have that long play time, as we talked about here. You got some clickable buttons. Um, they have wearing detection via top level IR sensor. Pretty cool. Um, and they have uh, apparently they use Bluetooth 5.3. So we're kind of most common thing now is Bluetooth 5.0. It's kind of what we're up to for more current modern day headphones. This is even a little bit more advanced beyond that 5.3. All right, so they also have a safe volume feature. I guess make sure they don't get too loud for you. Uh, customizable UI via the app, um, customized ambient sound, multi-point connection, and type C. I do want to take a minute here, <laughs> not to bust on my boys and girls over at Soundcore. Um, I mentioned this in another video. I personally feel pretty strongly that having a switching connection uh, is better than having a single or multi-point connection. So it's cool that these can be able to connect to two different devices um, simultaneously and work. That's great. It's cool to have. If you just have your computer and your cell phone and that's kind of how you're doing it, cool. My problem is that when you switch between many devices, um, it becomes very cumbersome to try to like disconnect one from Bluetooth and connect another one to it. So say you're using them like with the TV, you're using them with an iPad, you're using them with your um, computer, you're using them with your phone, you have like all these different devices you're using it with. Maybe you, um, a friend uses them, something like that. But I have lots of different things I use them with and I have like a desktop computer as well. So doing all that, it's a pain to try to shut off one of those because it's going to like, kind of like force the connection to that one. Uh, so that's one criticism I have, I'd say, for Soundcore. In my personal opinion, I prefer the kind like the uh, Jaybird Vista. What they have is that on the Vista, whatever it's paired with, when you start playing that audio, it's actually going to like pull that connection and it'll say connection switched and pull it to that device. That to me is a lot more seamless. Um, I don't necessarily need the um, multi-point connection, although it is nice. I just really want them to work quickly and easily with whatever I'm currently using them with. So. One criticism, but uh, again, that's a pretty minor issue. Um, and these are some great headphones for an excellent price. All right, so let's hop over here to the Space A40. Uh, by the way, both of these come in a black, a white, and a navy. So uh, three kind of general colors are nothing crazy, but should suit most of your needs. This shouldn't be anything too crazy, but again, you know, we have here the same kind of claim to fame. I got a little pull tab here where this should be um, giving you up to 50 hours of total playtime as well as having uh, that really advanced noise cancellation for up to 98% noise blocking. So I'm sure that'll carry over like with most companies to some of their other products, like the uh, Liberty 3 Pro. I'm sure that the next version of these will be getting something similar to this in terms of noise cancellation. These are a really small earbud style, which I find interesting. Um, it's very convenient, very small, but um, you know, we'll see how that works out. Some people like ones that are a little bit, that are really small. Some people like ones that are a little bit bigger. Um, me personally, um, so this is a fine size, but um, let's pop it open here. All right, so they look great. So you can see like these products are really, you know, high class looking stuff. This is not like some cheap, you know, knockoff brand you're getting from Amazon. Um, this is, you know, become a very well-established brand. In fact, they even sell them in some stores now, I believe as well. Um, you know, Anchor's uh, Soundcore, you know, is a trusted company. They have great customer support and uh, really, um, you know, great warranties and great products, so. Again, here we have the Space A40s. These are in a much smaller package, obviously, uh, but same kind of deal with their features. Pop them out. Uh, so these are quite tiny, what to say here. Please remove before use. All right, yeah, we got you. All right, so you have your, of course, these magnetic connections where they pop in there and charge. And uh, you have the left and right labeled easily here. Let's pop these out. All right, so actually, on first count, uh, these fit me really, really well. They kind of make it, I think, in, you know, they fit the average size ear. Um, 
they really seal, seal in the ear canal like super well. All right, very interesting. They feel really good. They feel really secure, surprisingly. Um, so um, I, for, I know <laughs> my bad for kind of knocking the small size. They feel like they are going to work great. Um, and obviously they have some pretty solid drivers and that kind of stuff as well. So you can see how this might work compared to like something like the uh, Liberty Air 2 Pro, right? So much bigger. You can see that's tiny, barely noticeable. So if you're like at an office or somewhere where you don't want people to see that you're wearing earbuds, you have long hair maybe, um, this should be a pretty good option for you in terms of that. There are some other ones um, like that Samsung makes, um, Buds Live, I think it's called something like that. So that's kind of a similar product I'd imagine, um, but not having necessarily the same technology. And these are the Liberty 3 Pro. Now these have a much bigger form factor. Um, now these are, you know, producing some pretty kick and bass. They're really nice for that kind of stuff. But you can see uh, they definitely stick out more and they're definitely quite a bit bigger. So these definitely sit in there and I feel super comfortable. They're gonna stay in my ears. Um, both of these work great if you fit them properly. But again, uh, having this tiny, tiny case, tiny form factor, um, it's pretty sweet. And they look really good. And they kind of like polished look on the outside there. Uh, and you can see the cases look similar, but they are definitely smaller in terms of size. Here we have a charging indicator on the front, which they always have. This one's even kind of like a little bit more interesting, kind of recessed in there. And in the back, we have a USB-C port to charge and the button there to push uh, for pairing and that kind of stuff. Now, they should pair a lot of times just by opening them up and connecting them to your phone. But if it doesn't, you can just hold that button in. It'll start blinking and then you pair them to your phone that way. So pretty standard pairing stuff. Um, let's see what else is in the box here if there's anything. I'm curious to see if there's any other kind of tips. Okay, yeah, there is. So um, they feel really good out of the box for me, but if they don't feel really good, really good out of the, I'm not sure about this whole like paper thing. I guess they're trying to <laughs> avoid the plastic, but uh, it's like a thin paper. It's all right, it's all right. All right, so I'll leave that in there, I guess, for now. So in there we have, um, let's see, we have one pair of ear tips on there now. It's probably like a medium type size. And then we have here also one, two, three, four other sizes. So you're going down from tiny little ears to big ears, should be good to go. And of course they hook you up with a charging cable, USB type C in there as well. So you don't have to go out and buy one of those. You just need to have um, a charging brick or hook it to a computer or something like that, whatever works out for you. So um, it's all there to good to go. Being that these are priced at $99 retail price, so they could be even cheaper than that on sale. Um, a pretty solid product. Let's just pop through some of their other features as well. Uh, again, highly similar to the other ones. Just having the adaptive A and C, the high res audio, up to the 98% noise reduction, um, and having that 50 hours of playtime. So let's see, that you do describe a bit more here in terms of that. So get up to 10 hours of playtime from a single charge and a total of 50 hours with a charging case. Charge for 10 minutes to get to four hours of playtime. So pretty good as well. 10 minutes gives you four hours. Uh, again, it looks like they reviewed by this uh, SGS to uh, reduce noises up to 98%. There's a noise blocking fit, which is true. They sit right there in the ear canal. And they also have the active noise cancellation as well that is adaptable to block out a ton of noise. They also have an upgraded driver as well. Same kind of situation there. Talking about segmentation, vibration, all that fancy stuff. Um, the smallest ANC earbuds under the Soundcore brand. So these are, it's like I said, these are 25% smaller than the last generation which I guess would be the Life A2NC. So like I said here, I have the, um, Liberty 3 Pro, uh, Air 2 Pro. These are the Life P3. They're kind of similar to the Air 2 Pro. Uh, just not quite as high quality. And these are the, uh, check out these babies. These are the Liberty 2 Pro. These are like the older ones. Uh, so they're fine, but definitely they're getting better and better, which you would expect with each generation. So here they have Adaptive ANC, which is improved from the last generation. Um, they have a play time, again, of 10 uh, hours per charge up to 50 hours total with the case, 10 millimeter drivers, double layer diaphragm driver, uh, 4.9 grams earpiece weight, so very lightweight, uh, six mics for call quality. So these tiny little things supposed to have six mics in there. I don't know how that works, but um, cool. Hopefully it sounds good. Um, traditionally speaking, things that are this far away from your ear are gonna tend to not have the best microphone quality. You can only really do so much unless you're doing like actually bone conduction. Um, but being that you're passing the sound from here to here, that's kind of why I think the AirPods had that design where they hang down on uh, that little stem. Um, so we'll see how it does as far as call quality goes. Oops. But, um, you know, again, they're trying to improve that as much as possible given the form factor of the headphones. All right, 10 minutes um, gives you four hours. Ambient aware, 
All right, interesting. Multi-point connection, once again, we talked about that, how it's awesome to connect to two different devices. Um, let's see if it's more than two. I think it's just two in the app. So IPX4 waterproof, so not bad. Um, I've used the Air 2 Pros at the gym and working out. Haven't had a problem. I think they're four or five, something like that. Um, so it shouldn't be an issue, but they're not certified to do any kind of like, um, to submerge them basically, any kind of underwater thing, stuff like that. So um, if you do look for a really well-sealed headphone that's something like that, what I would tend to use is the Jaybird Vista. Uh, they're my go-to sport headphones, but I use them just for working out primarily. And I use these other earbuds because they sound better. Um, they look good and that kind of stuff for a lot of more casual use. Um, even for working out too, they work like they work for that. Um, the app's great, allows you to customize your active noise cancellation on you know like all these earbuds that I have. Um, and to adjust that, it keeps getting better and better with new features, new transparency, new like 3D sound and all these crazy things um, with each generation. So, all right guys. So again, uh, here we have the, I forgot already, Space Q45 over the ears and the Space A40 from Soundcore. These are supposed to create your own personal space, really seal out the sound if you want them to, uh, and to give you that most quiet, uh, peaceful, kind of tranquil, ability to just kind of settle into yourself or to be able to do some um, studying or just to get some relaxation uh, without having distracted by all the many, many outside noises. All right, guys, here we are a few days later. I've done some listening and I want to give you my honest impressions of the Space A40 and the Space Q45. So um, I want to compare these to some of the other Soundcore earbuds as well as some other things that are out there as well. So what I feel is that this um, whole space thing with the uh, noise cancellation, I think it does work. Um, listening to different frequencies, I do think it's better. Like you're saying, it's 98% blocking of frequencies. Um, yes, that's true, but only for certain kind of frequencies. So like listening here to my um, dehumidifier, it'll block out like really, really good the kind of wind rushing noise. But when it comes to that kind of worrying uh, motor noise, then not so much. So you have to kind of temper your expectations. Um, that's been the case with every headphone that I listen to, including the AirPods Pro and other ones. So that is pretty much the standard with um, active noise cancellation. And these do do a great job uh, and they do kind of help to really quiet your environment and reduce the outside noises. But you're still gonna hear a lot of stuff. You're still gonna hear people talking. You're still gonna hear water running. You're still gonna hear a lot of things. So don't expect to hear no sounds, but it will help. So that's kind of my thing with that. Now when it comes to comparing these to other earbuds, um, I do feel that the A40 is pretty good in terms of sound. Um, I put it maybe somewhere a little bit above like the AirPods and I think they did pretty good. However, I don't think it's as good as the Soundcore Liberty Air 2 Pro. And I don't think it's as good either as the uh, Liberty 3 Pro. So it's kind of what we're comparing here. Um, now, kind of the advantages I would say with the A40 here is that it's a tiny case. Um, they're very compact. They're very discreet. They look great. Um, the, the, one of the big selling points here is that they have you know, up to 50 hours of battery life with that um, case. So you get great battery life and it's proven that as well when I'm listening to them, they have really great battery life. So I would say definitely that's an advantage that you have with those. Um, but if you really want a little bit better sound, then I would say personally that I'm still a fan of the Air 2 Pro, which has been out for a while now. Um, you can get these things pretty cheap now on Amazon, so I'll drop some links down below. Um, but these are definitely one of my favorite earbuds. Now these are gonna have the stem style. They're gonna hang down a little bit further. Um, they don't have multi-point connection and the battery life isn't quite as good, but it's still pretty good. So these are definitely one of my favorites. I use these all the time, they're super comfortable. Um, that being said, you know, the A40s do fit really well in my ear. They do have good noise cancellation. They do have a ton of features. Um, the app's great for all these and they work really well. So definitely a good alternative given the price, um, $99, probably be on sale later for a little bit less maybe. You know, they're a good pair of earbuds for sure. Um, and they're definitely keep advancing and pushing that level. So I like those. Now, if you do want the absolute best sound quality out of these and pretty much any earbud that I've heard so far, Liberty 3 Pro. These may not be the most discreet or most comfortable or best for like exercise and that kind of stuff because they're a little bit big. Uh, but these earbuds, Liberty 3 Pro, if you're like an audiophile, you want to get the Liberty 3 Pro. I would definitely just go with that. Don't even think about it. Um, they're really, really good. I think they're better than AirPods um, Pros. They're better than pretty much any, they're better than any other earbud that I've ever heard so far. So definitely great. Uh, they just have really tight, 
rich bass. Um, it really adds another dimension to the music. They also have some 3D sound stuff they do in the app as well with these. Um, so these have really, really great acoustics. They're really great for movies and that kind of stuff. The Liberty 3 Pro. Like I said, the A40s, good pair of earbuds. If you want something more discreet, you want great battery life, you're happy with like pretty good sound, definitely a good pair of earbuds. Um, if you want something that's a stem style here that kind of um, hangs down and um, you don't mind that, kind of more like the AirPods style, I think the Liberty Air 2 Pros have better sound, better bass, a little bit richer, um, and I think they're a great pair of earbuds and they're definitely a great value for what they are right now. So kind of going past that again, I would also say that the sound from the um, Q45, Space Q45s here, are also pretty good. Um, now, if you listen, if you're the average person and you listen to any of these earbuds probably, or any of these headphones, you're probably gonna be happy with how they sound. I would say like the average person is like, oh, like in isolation, they sound good. But when you're comparing all these to each other, um, you know, they sound pretty good, um, but maybe not as good as I had expected. So they're a beautiful product, um, super, they're really nice, comfortable. The sliding mechanism is awesome. They have a ton of features, um, great battery life. The noise cancellation is, you know, similar on the A40 and the Q45. So they, same thing with that, like they do have another level of um, active noise cancellation beyond like what the previous version did with the Liberty uh, Air 2 Pro and the Liberty 3 Pro. Um, but it's not, again, it's not gonna block all the noises and that's the case with AirPods and other stuff too. So don't think other ones are necessarily gonna do that. Um, these do provide a little bit more passive noise isolation being around your ear. Um, now these actually the, the um, the A40s here, they do fit really well into your ear canal, and they really, uh, to me, they're super comfortable. Um, and I did do the fit tip test as the fit tip test as well uh, for these. And if you do the hear ID A and C test for any of these two, it's definitely going to help to customize the sound for you, and it will sound better. Uh, I tried various sound signatures. I tended to like like the acoustic sound signature. To me, that works well, um, but you can customize it to yourself, and definitely it will sound better that way as well. So, but again, here back to the um, Q45s. Super cool earbud um, headphones. They're really comfortable. I think they look good. Um, big fan of them. I would buy them probably for the price they are, for 150 bucks, or maybe if they're discounted from that even. I think they're a pretty good value. If you want to get something better than these, I would say you're looking at getting like the Bose um, or some of the more advanced Sony um, headphones. And then you're talking probably about, you know, uh, the neighbor, neighborhood of like three to $500, maybe like at least upper twos. So um, given all the features these have, the noise cancellation, the great battery life, the comfort, um, they come with this nice case, um, and Soundcore's a really great brand, I would say that they're definitely a solid choice for somebody who wants something that's not gonna be that cheap 30, 40, $50 level, but it's not gonna be that three to $500 level. So they're a great pair of headphones, um, and I think they did really well. Uh, but again, I actually don't think the sound on these are even as good as the sound, maybe similar, eh, I don't know if they're quite similar to the Liberty Air 2 Pro, but I definitely think the Liberty 3 Pro actually being earbuds still have way better sound than the Q45. So kind of just something to think about there. Um, each of these kind of have their own pros and cons. And again, I think these are all, you know, great earbuds, great headphones, and um, the app and everything worked really awesome. I am running like a beta uh, version of the app for these two earbuds here. So there could be some possibility that maybe, you know, with some upgrades there, it would improve um, that. So, and like I said, these have the Liberty 3 Pro and these two, I believe both have um, multi-point connections. You can connect to two different devices simultaneously, but they don't have a switching connection. So I was gonna say that again, to me, um, I prefer that. So I'm still having some difficulty with connecting to multiple different devices, more than two devices at a time. Now, if you want to use two simultaneously, like your laptop and your phone, or something like that, um, with one of these these earbuds here that have the multi-point connection, then that's awesome. But if you're going to be going from like device to device to device, um, like TVs and other devices and um, your desktop computer and all stuff like that, then it can be a bit of a pain to like disconnect from one and connect to another. So to me, I'd much prefer that it just pulls that connection to the one that I'm currently using, and um, you know pulls it off of the other one and switches it like that. So that's one uh, thing I would say definitely, in my opinion, they could work on and maybe they can possibly do both in one year, but I don't know if that's possible. I think maybe it's a different technology. Uh, it's something to think about. So again, uh, if you guys wanna check these out, links will be down below. If you have any questions, let me know. I'm gonna keep testing them out, 
keep seeing how they perform um, and comparing them to other uh, products I have as well. Uh, so go ahead and drop any questions you may have in the comments below. I'll check those out. Uh, thank you guys for watching, and I will see you in the next video.